We all know every time you delete Clash Royale, you say to yourself, I'm never going to play this garbage ever again. But it's only a few months until you play the game again, since we're complete addicts to the game. So that's why you're here, and I'm going to show you how to delete this garbage game. The first step is to just straight up delete the game off the App Store. This should be really easy if you know how to use technology. Step 2 only happens after a few months. This is when you've already deleted the game, you feel much more happy, but then after a few months, you might think, maybe it was me. Maybe the game wasn't so bad. Well, actually, no, the game's awful. Just think about how many times you got common lucky drops and got 7 gold and 2 wild shards, while everyone else is getting like 3 book of books and an entire evolution. And then remember the times you get hard countered by a toxic 2.6 player who can't stop spamming the crying skeleton emote. This will completely demotivate you to play the game again, and this is a good thing since Clash Royale isn't good for you. Now, step three may actually come before step two, but that's not really a problem. The main thing is that you delete all the social media about Clash Royale, unfollow their Twitter accounts and stuff like that. Make sure to delete all of those Reddit accounts you had that made posts about Clash Royale. Leave the subreddit, all that stuff, to make sure you stop playing the game because and this will help a lot and make sure to also stop watching the content creators because the more you watch clash royale the more you may want to play it again and that's not what you want to do because it'll just reverse all your progress but the main reason why you delete all that social media is that when clash royale is like yo there's a thousand free gold because some random guy from a country you've never heard of won golden the olympics then you might want to go back into the game and download it again because they're giving out free stuff and then you might just and even if you're there just to claim the free stuff, you've already downloaded the game and that's already failed your entire mission. Because if you keep on doing that, you keep on downloading the game, you keep on, it's like there's so much free stuff, may as well use it, you know? So yeah, make sure you do not download the game and block all those social media websites or at least Clash Royale's account on those social media websites. Now I know what you're thinking, well I still want to play video games. Well that's not a problem because I got some substitute games for you in Stub 4. So the substitute games I have for you are Balloons TD Battles 2 and you might say well the game is practically dead as like 600 players that still play it on Steam and like a thousand players on mobile which I know that doesn't sound very promising but it's honestly a good game and the developers I think care for it because let's be honest Ninja Q is a thousand times better than Supercell. I know what you're saying well like there's like the only people who play it are like six year old children because of the bright vibrant colors. Well, no, there's still a decent competitive scene for it, so it's not that dead. Hell, maybe enough people watch this video, they'll be motivated to download and try the game out, and the game might not be as dead as you would say, but that's probably not going to happen because my channel is so shadow banned by YouTube already. And the second substitute, which I honestly think is a lot better, is chess. Now, I know that sounds a bit crazy. Isn't chess the game where like 65-year-old grandpas play in the park? Well, yeah, yeah, sure, that's true. But there's also a much vibrant and newer audience that are playing the game. And not everyone that plays it are just straight up nerds that just sit in the cafeteria all alone with glasses and analyze every single freaking move while learning the, how to play the Night Road Defense's 40 move theory. Which I know that sounds a bit crazy, but it's okay. It's honestly pretty simple to get into, and the community is very nice. Especially since it's so big, because like I feel like most people have learned chess like in their childhood, but probably dropped it when they entered high school and stuff like that. So it's honestly good. And it's also really good for your brain because instead of thinking, is my opponent going to spam an overleveled Mega Knight at the bridge? You can think, hmm, how is my opponent going to respond to this check? Or how is, how is he going to defend against my fork? So it's a lot better for your mental state and it might not make you want to destroy everything oh you love my God. when you lose a match. Because chess, there's no like, oh, my opponent had level 15 pawns. I only got level 13 ones. Well, guess it's good game. It was a close match, but I lost. No, chess isn't like that because there's no actual way to pay to win, which is really good. And there's multiple free ways to play the game, like on chess.com or lead chess, which are all really good options in my opinion. And yeah, that's basically all the tips. It's pretty simple, really. Every time you think of playing the game again, just think of step two. Think of step two. And yeah, that's basically it. Because like, let's be honest, no one actually enjoys playing Clash Royale anymore these days. Because you have to pay like $78 at least in the currency I use in the country I live in to g even get a max level card, which is completely absurd. But yeah, anyways, subscribe, like, do whatever, do whatever you want. I can't force you anyways bye